You guys got food? None of you have food. Where's your food? It was pure coincidence that animal control officers Mary Ann DiGiacomo and Tyler Knoll found this back in September. A large kennel holding more than a dozen dogs in truth or consequences. Several of the animals appearing to be malnourished. Skin and bones. Look at him. He's got a wound on his mouth. He's got what? A wound on his mouth. The officers were originally called out for two dogs running loose. They never found those dogs, but they did stumble across this property. Photos taken by the officers show the dog's drinking water bucket is full of green slime. Look at this water. It's worse. The officers are shocked by what they found snapping pictures of the evidence. That's when they go looking for the owners. But who comes to the door isn't who you'd expect. I'm Officer DiGiacomo with Truth or Consequences Police Department, Animal Control. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm Mayor Forrester. I know you guys are. Okay. <laughs> The TRC mayor, Amanda Forrester, admits the dogs belong to her and her husband, Lane Forrester. My next question to you is who owns those hound dogs and who's taking care of them? That would be us. Okay, so you're taking care of those dogs? Mm -hmm. But the tension rises when the officers start asking questions. Amanda Forrester says she was at the kennel earlier that day, checking on the dogs and that they get fresh water daily but officers aren't convinced. So the water is basically slime, and with that being said, with our ordinances, they have to have pot I know the water. ordinances, I signed them. The officers issue citations for cruelty, care, and maintenance. But even though the mayor admitted to being responsible for the dogs, she has the officers write the citations in her husband's name, according to the criminal complaint. Those citations were later upgraded to a long list of criminal charges against Lane Forrester, including animal cruelty and not having proper permits, as well as failing to vaccinate and license 14 dogs. Alexis Kineski, KRQE News 13.